Hi, hi, Carlitos. Hi, good evening. Ay, Elizabeth. Hi. No, pues ya no han regresado los que me habían perdido en el camino. What happened, hmm. Carlos Alberto? Oh my God, hoy sí va a nevar ahora, en serio. <risa> An Elizabeth, oh my gosh, ya me van a contar que se han hecho. Además, Carlos, porque Elizabeth ahí por ahí le he visto, pero Carlitos, sí. <risa> oh my gosh, all right. Anyway, welcome, Carlos. It's very nice to see you, Eric. Good evening, Jose Thank Williams, you. Lizette. Good evening. Davis, Diego, Davis, David, sorry, mm. Diego, Elmer, Elmercito, hello, Ana, Rocío, Juan, Francisco, Florcita, Norma, nice to see you, Norma, Hi. Eddie, hello, excellent, hello. very good, all right, guys, welcome, so this is, I mean, Carlos, como ya sabe que es la última semana, se apuró en regresar de a saber dónde, all right, <laughs> Pero qué bueno verle, de verdad. Okay, so guys, remember that uh, this is the very last week. Actually, today is the second day of the week and we have two more classes and we are done. All right, so guys, let's start. We're gonna, ha I have this for you. We're going to see it together and then we are going to work on the uh, topic that corresponds for today. But right now, guys, I'm gonna do this presentation with you. Okay, so we have, it's, it's a game. All right, so uh -huh. four scenes or a go. Eric, are you, are you ready, Eric? Yeah, always. Excellent. Always ready, my goodness, that's good to know. All right, so we have here, Eric. Four scenes or a go. Yeah. Four scenes or a go, aha, uh -huh. so tell me. Perfect. Your time is running. We have been here two hours, four, two, I mean, four scenes or a go. Three seconds, two seconds. <laughs> Oh no! Four, 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 four. <laughs> for two hours? All right. For two hours? So we have been here for two hours. Is that okay, everybody? Four scenes or a go, is that okay? Eric said four. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? All right, yes. Eric. Very good. Next one, Williams, you ready? Yeah. Ready or not, here I go. All right. Here I go. She has waited for him lunchtime. Science. Excellent. All right. Very good. Nice. I was supposed to touch it here, actually. Correct. I she has... in. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. I didn't do that magic trick on yours. That's okay. All right. Daniel Mendes, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Four. Danielito. Since All right. Ago. Ready. She left Lisbon two months ago. Oh my goodness, you guys know very well. She wow. left less than two months ago. We, we are on fire. <laughs> I know, guys. It's Tuesday already. Wow. <laughs> Imagine by <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> um, Francisco, are you ready? Niña. Perdón, perdón. Francisco? Francisco? Yes. yes are I'm you here. ready, Francisco? Yeah. Excellent. All right, there you go. Sensor ago. They have been talking a long time. For a long time. Oh they my goodness. Been, Respuesta definitiva. They amigo. have been talking. Yeah? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. For a long they have been time. talking for a long right. time. Let's see. Thank you, Francisco. Eli, Larin, are you ready, Eli? Yes. All right. Ready, Eli? Four. Since where ago? A month I was in England. A month ago. Are you sure, Ellie? Mm. A month ago. Sensory. Sorry, that's me. not the correct Vaya, answer. No dijo Ellie. Did you hear that, Ellie? No, I got. A month, a, a month. ¿Qué dijo usted? Ago. Ago. Correct. Sí. A month ago, uh, I was in England. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Eli, but yeah, correct. Very good. All right, Carlos Alberto. Next one. Aha, Carlito. Solo por eso dos le voy a preguntar ahora. Four. Since where ago? Two centuries, we couldn't travel by car. Since. Sin, seguro. Sí. Yes. Ah! Sorry. Sorry. Nope. No. Really? Nope. What is it, Elizabeth del Carmen? Four or a go? Two centuries. Four. A go. 
Yeah, it was a go. go. Yeah. Wait, go then. And swear go. It was a go. Very good. Let's see. That's okay. Very good. Noemi, you have it. Pereme, Noe. Pereme, que. Dígame, teacher. Vaya, ahorita. Four. Since swear go. Yeah, you haven't told me about your holidays. You haven't told me about the holidays. Since? 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 Next. Yeah, since. You haven't since. told me Good. about yeah, your holiday right. since All your right. last visit. Let's see. Then, uh, the, the, Elmer, are you ready, Elmer? No, pero de él. Oh, my goodness. Mire lo que recibió este. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Sorry, Elmer. Porque no estaba ready. No lo hice. I'm over. <laughs> Time over, time over. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, el mercito, no lo hice a propósito. No, yo sé. <laughs> ya ve la vida, ¿cómo es? Karma se llama. All right, very good. All right. So, guys, that was just to remember and for us, like, to for you guys to actually remember what we talked about yesterday. We were talking about a goal, since, for... Yeah. For in about over, all right. So you guys remember that, yes? Yeah. All right. Yesterday we did an exercise. Is that right? Yeah. We use yes. an exercise talking using from to, and we use for and since ago also, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so this is what I want us to do today because uh, I'm gonna let's say for the last, for the next, sorry, for the next. 10 minutes or so, I'm going to give you an assignment based on the topic that we studied yesterday. And after that, we're going to start with the topic that belongs for this class and tomorrow's class because Thursday is the last one. All right. So Thursday, we're going to do some review of everything and all that. So we have enough time. So right now, what I want you to do for the ones that were in class, you know what I'm talking about for Elizabeth and Carlos and Normita that were not in class yesterday. It's not a big deal, your class. What I want you to do, I want you to go back to your, well, I want you to go to your groups and I want you to write sentences, all right? Yesterday, you did the exercises, okay? You sing those things. But now, I want you to write a sentence and I know you're gonna say, especially Elmer, because he's such a rebel. Deme un segundo aquí, ya le voy a enseñar que quiero. Give me a second, I'm gonna show you this from yesterday's class, so I'm going to tell you exactly what I want from you, okay? I want you to be using some of um, the words to express your ideas, and it's here. Just give me a second. It's loading, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. Do, 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 when I need things quick. Ah, there you go. Here. There. Okay, so this is what I want. I'm not gonna listen. We're not gonna um, listen to it. I just want you to see it so you remember what we talked about yesterday. Can you guys see this? Yes. Yeah? yeah. All right. So what I want you to do right now, I want you to go to your groups and I want you to write sentences using a point of time in the past, a period of time in the past, and a period of time that continues into the present, okay? For the first one, a point of time in the past, I want you to choose two, either during an ago or in an ago or ago and during or whatever you want, just two, two different sentences, okay? For a period of time in the past, you're writing two sentences, one using from and to, and the other one for. And then for the last one, a period of time that continues into the present, you're writing two sentences, one using since, and the other sentence using for. So at the end, you have six sentences. You got it? Yeah. Guys? Yes, perfect. Do you need to take a picture of this so you remember? In case you do, take a picture now. All right, remember yes. that it's two sentences, two sentences per uh, ref, uh, period of time, all right? 
So here we go. Ooh. Okay. So now what I want you to do, I want you to go to your groups and I want you to write your sentences, okay? Be creative and be like, uh, you know, just you're already in pre-advanced too. So write sentences that are fully uncomplicated. Don't just write mini sentences, all right? <laughs> Why do you laugh, Eric? <laughs> no. Make fun of me, Eric. You're terrible. You're like Elmer. You bully me. <laughs> no, no, it's because you are telling, you are telling us you are pre-advanced. <laughs> of course, you guys are. That's that's mean. That's mean. No, why? It's not mean. I'm proud of you that you guys are on pre-advanced level already. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Lisette, ¿y usted por qué siempre que queda con este señor? <risa> usted me manda con él, me no. presta bien. Hoy, hoy, yo, bien. hoy yo hago los grupos, hoy yo tengo ahí la... Pero yo no los para... hago, los hace la ¿Ah? compu. No, la... <risa> me diga nada, la compu los arma, vaya. <risa> pero él, pero Lisette dice que trabaja bien con usted, así que vaya, ya ve, no hay nada que temer. <risa> Estamos bien. Very good. All right. Nice. Nice. Ya vengo a verlos. Ya vengo. Otro ratito. During the 80s, the... Pasa... I don't know what to say. Cuarentena. 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 Uh, Cuarentena. Uh, Normita, ¿sabes qué le iba a escribir hoy en la mañana? Y entre tantas cosas se me fue. Sí, teacher. Es que mire, he tenido problemas con el internet. En no serio. Sé si por... Porque ha llovido muy fuerte sí. o no sé qué pasa, pero ahora, por ejemplo, no me podía conectar. ¿En serio? Hasta no? que recetía la máquina y me volví a intentar. Sí, estaba yo así como, mm, what happened to Normita? Pero ahí vamos. Ok, that's good. Very good. Ok, okay. bye. Eh, sin más... José le va a explicar de todas maneras, él entiende todo. Pues sí. <risa> <risa> bueno, gracias. <Okay. risa> When did the sound layer to be damaged? Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, when did the sound layer to be? No, 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 to be, no. It can be, can't be. What do you want to say, Eric? I want to say something related to a sound layer. The ozone layer, uh -huh. when yeah, some layer. When do you do some layer go damaged? Maybe. Yeah, go damaged. Oh, yeah. Or get damaged. Like yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I want to form the question with okay. them. Mm. Okay. We need to write down the question. It would. I mean, if you can, it would be okay. What I like, maybe you guys can on word so i can see it when i come into your group mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Very good. okay hi teacher hi daniel hi, we need your help jennifer uh-huh sorry daniel <laughs> jennifer que se me había hecho hi teacher i am I have to a little speak. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. But you're better? I don't I didn't appear in the class. Yeah, I was wondering. Okay. But you're feeling better now? Uh yes. Okay, then. Very good. I'm better. Okay. All right, Daniel, but what I, were you uh -huh. I feel a little loose. Yeah, I can imagine, of course. Daniel, were you in class yesterday, Daniel? Yes, I was. Okay. Yes, I was in the class yesterday, but 
I was wondering if you can share the picture. I didn't. I, I didn't oh, yeah, it. of course. Yeah. This one, Daniel, the one that I just shared today. This one. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, Jennifer. So yesterday we were studying this. All right. It's different ways to like talk about time in a way. All right, if you notice for each, let's say category, you can use different words, okay? But you use them on that category. For example, if you talk about a, a point of time in the past, a point, okay? Then you're going to use during or in or over. I mean, six and over and ago. Uh, but you cannot combine them, like you're gonna say, you cannot say during in, right? Or during ago or in 60 years ago. All right, so it's either during, in, or ago. But a period of time in the past, we're talking now about a period, okay, not a point. Then we use from and to and for. So you said, oh, I have studied, or I studied English for two years, all right? Or I studied English from 19, from 19, from 2017 to 2019. 2019 all right and it finished already or you can talk about a period of time that continues into the present and then we for that one we use present perfect and we can use since or we can use for remember that since is when it's very specific since like 1945 since Monday since 10 o'clock for two hours, for one year. So you're not really being so specific when you use for. So that's pretty much what we talked about yesterday. So now what I want you to do is come up with some examples, two per each, using whatever you want to use. For example, you may use during and in for the first um, category, let's say, or you may use ago and in in two different sentences. So that's what I want you to do right now, Jenny. Okay. Right. Uh, Daniel, okay, were you able to take the picture, Daniel? Yes, I did. All right, very good. All right, okay, thank
case for the yeah. hi William. Hi teacher. Hi hi. Point of time in the hi. past. The biggest fast food was popular twenty years ago. Okay. Titanic was uh, Titanic sunk in nineteen twelve. Sunk. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And you have to remove was. Okay. Mm -hmm. And make sure that in 1912 you don't have the S because it's a specific year. Okay. Yeah. You. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I studied again. Number three. I I was a studied. No, I studied. I studied. I studied. College, no, in the college, no, that's in Spanish. In college, delete the, in the okay. college, the, from 1990 to the 2002, all right. I lived in Santa Ana City for 20 years, perfect. We have been in quarantine since March, yes, we have. <laughs> we will be yes. here for three more days, switch that, more days. More days, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Really, or that's not true? We, are, we don't know. We don't know yet. Yeah. The, we have a lot of information about this. <laughs> Too much, and it's confusing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, right. I don't know what happened in two days. Yeah, no kidding. All right, very good. So nice. Titanic sign, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, just okay. for, for number one, Juan and Williams, um, uh -huh. that just right, biggest. Biggest fast biggest, food. Biggest is the name of the restaurant. I know, but it's not the biggest. It's just biggest. It's the biggest. Okay. Okay. Very good. Biggest fast food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just give me a couple of one more minute. I'm gonna check uh, some of the uh, other classmates. Okay. Okay. No problem. Hello, Florcita, Francisco. Hello. Hi. Finished? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Do you have your sentences so I can see them or not really? Yes, you, you talk uh, six sentences. Yes. Do you have them? Like, did, did you type them or did you write them so I can see them or not? We write, yes, we write I... but... On your notebooks? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. No. Just give it just Francisco, read one of the sentences, please. Okay. I have been working during the emergency. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, Flor, give me another sentence. I, um, I live in in San Salvador from from 21 to 26 to sorry sorry uh, to uh, to south one to okay. and uh, um, to to south 2006 oh, okay all right very good all right nice thank you we're gonna go back now okay so just give me a second here Hi, Walter. Hi, Elizabeth. Finished? Hi, teacher. Yes, we Morning, tried. Teacher. You tried. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell me one of your sentences, Elizabeth? Okay. Uh, this, uh, I was studied to, I don't know, it's a no, it's the compañero. Uh, I was traveling since that I single. I was travel since that that I, I have single. been traveling. I have been y traveling no, since. Como... Been traveling. Uh -huh. yeah. been... I have been. I have been traveling since that I single. Since uh, I'm single. I single. Since okay, I'm the next is I was married for 10 years ago. Okay. For 10 years. Or I was married 10 years ago. Uh -huh. Either yeah. or. No, lo que no puede hacer es combinarlas. Oh, yeah, Eli. 
Mm -hmm. No. O si pone, I was married for 10 years, for 10 years. Mm. Solo que no sé desde cuándo, cuándo se casó y cuándo se divorció, por ejemplo. Pero, y tampoco en el hecho de decir, <laughs> I was married 10 years ago. Si lo tomo desde que parto desde el 2020, digo, ah, el 2010, she got divorced. Pero mm. no puedo en una misma oración, no puedo poner dos, Eli. Con doble significado, con doble... Con doble palabra, ajá. digamos. Ajá. Porque no especifico, ajá, un dato Porque exacto. Porque no tiene sentido ajá. tampoco. O sea, yo, si yo le digo, I was no married 14 sentido. years ago, doesn't make sense. Por 10 años mm. atrás, kind of like... ¿Ya? Yeah. Ah, pues está mala esta. <laughs> ok. Um, Tell me one teacher, more. Uh -huh. eh, Uh, I visited my mother since before quarantena. I use, uh, I use I since. My mother, oops. I visited my since. mother since, since the quarantine. Mm -hmm. La visitó antes. Yes. So you said, I visited my mother since. Yeah. Oh, before quarantine. Uh -huh, before quarantine. Before quarantine. Before quarantine. Mm -hmm. before quarantine. Okay. You can sure. say I haven't seen my mother. I haven't visited my mother since quarantine. Okay. All right. Yes, Walter. Check mines, please. Yes. Yes. Tell me. I was studying during the 2019. I was studying during 2000, during 2019, uh-huh. And another one, I was studying over two years ago. Yeah, okay. And then another, another one, a point of time that continues into the present. Mm -hmm. The war in El Salvador uh, took place from uh, 1978 to 1980s. Ah, but that's not continuing in the present, Walter. O sea, the sentence is okay, pero sería a period of time in the past. In the past, all uh, two, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Si ahorita estuviera la guerra, entonces podríamos hacer, decir the civil war has, I don't know, has, I don't know. Ahí sí usamos el since. Right, okay. pero en el caso que terminó, you say, y, y más como la oración como la tiene, ¿verdad? Entonces terminó o se llevó a cabo de tal año a tal otro. So that's from, uh, like, from two. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y que lleve un dato. Date. Sí, lleva Date. una fecha, ¿verdad? De, de inicio y de, y de sí. fin. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, I'm confusing. It's a okay. period of time in the past. Yes, very good, yeah. Okay. All right, nice. Okay, we're gonna go back right now, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so everybody hello. with me. Hello, hello. You guys are back, yes? Okay, so remember again, as always, guys, we need to practice this a little bit more for you to actually understand it, okay? I was able to use some of your responses, okay? And most of you have got it. And then sometimes we have, it's still like we get confused for a little uh, words and everything, but it's okay. Pretty much it's the same. So it's very nice. Okay. So now guys, for the last part of the class, this is what I wanna show you. We're gonna talk about it today and we'll continue talking about it tomorrow, okay? So perhaps okay. today for the rema remaining of the class, we are going to see this and I'm going to show you the PPT I have for you. And then tomorrow we're going to be able to practice. So right now it's like pay attention and if you have questions, let me know. This is from the You're just gonna see the like, uh, a part of the video, not everything. 
Okay, but I just want to share this with you because based on this is the PPT I have for you. So Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Cool. <laughs> Use future continuous to predict ongoing action. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict action by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. All right. Oops. By 2050, okay, what, we will have. Well, okay. So what I want, uh, what I want you guys to pay attention to is this: we're predicting the future with will. There are many other ways to predict future or to talk about future, but right now we're going to study these um, ways of predicting the future. The first one is the use of will. All right, this is the plain future will. Use will to predict future events or situations. So what you do is you use will. So you say computers will recognize any voice command. You say it will rain today and the quarantine will stop in three days. I don't know, uh, I'm predicting, I don't know. All right, so you predict things and you use will, the plain will. If it's affirmative, if it's negative, then you say won't. The quarantine won't finish in three days. All right, or I won't eat pupusas for another month. All right, so you predict things, okay? So I wish. We, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I miss my pupusas. Anyway, so we use will to predict future, okay? Simple as that. Just use the will and that's it. Then another way to predict future or to talk about things that might happen, it's the future continuous, all right, which is we use it to predict ongoing actions things that are happening right now and they'll keep on happening all right remember that if it's press i mean it's future continuous the keyword here is continuous that means that it hasn't stopped okay so here it says people will be living in cities under the ocean all right the, the example is kind of weird because i don't think there are people living right now in oceans but anyway so, but the idea here, what I want you to keep in mind is a future continuous is used to predict ongoing actions. Maybe they are like working on it so people can start living under the ocean, okay? And then the last use of will is predict the future is to use press, I mean, sorry, to use future perfect, okay? Now, if it's perfect, that has to give you the idea that it has not been over all right that it has not stopped yet everything that is perfect present perfect past perfect future perfect it has to continue like within a certain time okay so here it says use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time that it touches in a way until now okay within 20 years all right scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness the other example by 2050 we will have set up human communities on mars okay so they will begin and they will continue on and they will be finishing at a certain time here okay so this is what's on the platform then uh, some explanation is given to you if you keep on watching the video which we're not i'm going to show you my ppt you can watch the video yourselves because it's the same information i just want to get deeper into this right now so here we have it let me find it i lost it wait there it is okay so here we have the presentation it's a little long but it's Hey, get me. Guys, where is my presentation? Elmer, give it back to me. <laughs> when I use the site, site the computer come uh, is slow. Ah, Elmer, Tito. No way. I have it. I found it. Yeah. Found it. It's not your fault. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, Elmer, Tito. I always like to pick on you. Okay, predicting the future. All right, so this is what we're talking about, what we just saw on the platform. Again, 
just bear with me because I'm going to do a lot of the talking, but just kind of follow the reading and read the examples with me. The prediction, number one, when the future simple is used to make predictions, again, guys, if you know how I work, I give you a, like the information that is on the platform and a little bit more because you need to know this, okay? So when the future simple is used to make predictions, it is often, is rayo often, not always, it is often preceded by think, promise, predict, expect, hope, fear, by, or by opinion words like perhaps, okay? So you need to know this. Not on the platform, but this is for general knowledge, okay? So you understand this. So sometimes you're gonna find it this way. I think it will rain tomorrow. Or you can just say, it will rain tomorrow, okay? You can add, I think, because you are predicting the future. You see very cloudy, everything is very cloudy. You look outside and say, mm, I think it will rain tomorrow or tonight, all right? Or you just say, it will rain tomorrow, okay? Also write, or you can use perhaps, she'll be late. Maybe she'll be late, all right? Tomorrow will be warm with some cloud in the afternoon. The other one, who do you think will win? So I'm asking you to predict, to tell me what you think, or they can be omitted, all right? That's why it says often preceded by, not always, okay? So if you see it that way, what I want you to see is that they're using the future simple will because they are predicting somehow. Do you understand that? Yep. All right, yes. guys, the rest of you, yes? Okay, let's go on. Let's continue. Predictions. We prepare okay. the future simple when we're talking more about what is inside our heads, all right? Our beliefs, our guesses, our knowledge. Uh, don't lend him your car. He'll crash it. That's what I think. I don't know him, but that gives me the idea, all right? It's only an example, guys. You can't... All right, very good. Okay, so you're predicting here, and you're using future simple. When I say future simple, is will. Remember the will is the more predictable one. It's not so certain, all right? That's why we use it for predictions. Then we have the future continuous, all right? The future continuous, it is also used to predict the future. A future state or habit at a particular time in the future. For example, in 10 years time, I expect I'll be living in London, all right? So I use will, plus B, plus the verb with ing. Y ya vamos a ver la forma de estructurarlo, okay? But it's the continuous. Como sabemos que es continuo, sabemos y entendemos por que ya lo entendimos así, que usamos el ing, all right? So we use it, ing. Will plus B plus ing on the verb. The same. And I'll probably be cycling to work, okay? Professor Asher will be giving another lecture at the same time next week. I'll be seeing you one of these days, I expect, when the quarantine is over, okay? Mm -hmm. So you use future continuous again to predict, okay? Then we have the future perfect. The, fut the future perfect looks back from a point in the future and refers to the indefinite time up to the point. For example, by the time we get there, all right, the film will have started. That means that we're running late, okay? This means that at the, at the future time, no, ¿qué le pasó? ¿Quién asustó? But this means that at the future time, when we get there, we can say the film has started. O sea, llegamos tarde, all right? The builder says he'll have finished the hospital. Tifco, no, I'm kidding. The builder says he'll, ha he'll have finished the roof by Saturday, all right? You have to tropicalize the examples, Eric, all right? The car will soon have done 100,000 miles. So in this case, you need to use future perfect because in a way you're talking about a situation that has begun and then it will be finished at one certain time in the future. That's why we use the future perfect. So, this is what I want you to pay attention to. This is what's on the platform y lo que sigue igual. Lo que pasa que está estructurado o desglosado, más bien dicho, de esta forma. Will, to make predictions, 
okay? We, use, we also use will to talk about what we think will happen in the future. In other words, predictions. I think, acuérdense que el will tiene como muchos significados y a esta altura de la vida, porque ya están en pre-advanced too, deberían de saber todos los usos del will, all right? I think he will rain tonight. God will. <laughs> I'm sure he will be a successful lawyer one day. Note, for negative predictions, make the think negative, not the will. I don't think it will rain tonight. Not, I think it won't rain. Uh, yeah, not, sorry. Not, I think it won't rain tonight. Okay, so better say, or you have to use it better with the think in negative, not the won't. But either way, I guess it would be okay. But kind of like stick it to this rule, all right? So that's the use of will. That's not a big deal. You already know the use of will, all right? Now. Here, we're talking about the form of the, of the uh, future continuous. I'm sorry I didn't write that. But this is the future continuous here. You use the will be plus the present participle. You say, me va a decir, que no es el ING? Pues es el mismo. All right, so we use will be plus the present participle. It's in brackets, it dice ING form of the verb. Si usted lo estudia gramaticalmente tal cual, usted tendría que decir will be plus present participle. No tendría que decir will be plus ing or ing. All right, it's el present participle. Okay. All right, now it says we form the future continuous with the model verb will. The auxiliary verb be. So eso es bien gramático aquí, bien gramatical. And the present participle of the main verb. For the auxiliary verb be, we use its present forms. Am, um, are, and is. Lo que está diciendo ahí es nada más para complicarle un poquito la vida. Pero es el uso del will, plus el be, all right, plus el ing. El be lo desgloso porque como lo voy a conjugar, va a depender de si estoy hablando de he, de we, de you, o de I, y así lo conjugo. Si ocupo I, I, uh, you say I am, right? But then in this case you say I will be going to, or uh, whatever, right? I will be studying, I will be singing, I will be whatever. Then you use uh, the present participle form of all the verbs in ing, and to make it, we normally simply need to add ing to the base form of the verb. Las mismas reglas aplican para este presente participio, que es el ing, all right? Eh, cuando usted tiene que quitarle la e y ponerle el ing, o doblar la última consonante y luego el ing, esas reglas que también ya se las pueden. All right, por eso no las puse aquí. Very good. Next one. The meaning. Jose me avisa, Josecito. Usted siempre me da el time. You are my time man. Future continuous is used to say that an action will be in progress at a specific time in the future. This time on Thursday, I will be flying to Thailand. In two hours, she'll be leaving work. Right? Future continuous is used for an action in progress in the future, which is interrupted by a shortened action. Esta es otra extra information that I'm giving you here. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. All right? So, una acción va a tener una pequeña interrupción por otra. I use the present continuous. I mean, sorry, the future continuous. Future continuous is used to predict the present also. Don't call him now. He'll be sleeping. All right, future continuous is used for arrangements often as a reminder of or warning. We'll be leaving at 10 o'clock. O sea que si no viene, no puede venir tarde porque yo me voy a haber ido. All right, future continuous is used to make polite inquiries about someone's plans without wishing to influence those plans. For example, will you be watching TV this evening? You're simply if the TV will be free, all right? So, es ahí como que usted quiere saber sin decirle que no lo haga, pero quiere saber porque usted está, tiene pensado ver tele. Pero si él me va a ver tele, pues mejor no, all right? Yeah? So that, those are the uses of the present, the, oh, sorry, of the future continuous. El que está en la plataforma es el primero. The future continuous is used to say that an action will be in progress at a specific time in the future. All right, and the one that is predicting. 
the future perfect, we use the, the future perfect simple, or just the future perfect, will or won't have plus past participle, o sea, el ed, all right, to talk, or like, como corresponde en el verbo to talk about something that will be completed before a specific time in the future. The get, for example, the guests are coming at 8 p.m. I'll have finished cooking by then. Right? I'll have finished is the press uh, is the future perfect. On October on ninth, on October 9th, sorry, we'll have been married for 50 years. All right. Will you have gone to bed when I get back? So you, that's how you have to use the, the future perfect. We can use phrases like by or by the time, meaning at some point before, and in or in a day's time, in two months' time, in five years' time, etc., meaning at the end of this period to give the time period in which the action will be completed. All right, so that's when we use the future perfect. Examples, I won't have written all the reports by next week. By the time we arrive, the kids will have gone to bed. I'll have finished in an hour and then we can watch a film. In three years time, I'll have graduated from university. All right, so here the, I give you examples you those so you understand the better. I know guys that a veces es como a lot of um, theory, all right? But it's important for you to understand it. Por eso dije al principio, ahorita vamos a ver como la teoría y mañana nos vamos a enfocar en la práctica. Ahora, questions. Okay. Do you have questions about everything that I talked about? Mm. ¿O los abrumó? <laughs> no, no. It seems easy. It seems. Yeah, we use it. Igual, el Mercito me está pidiendo la, la PPT. No más termine la clase. Yo se la mando a todos en el grupo para que la tenga. <laughs> All right? It's very teacher. important for you to have it. Are you yes. sure? Yes, I'm positive. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm a teacher. <laughs> Alguien dijo teacher, era una, una mujer, Norma. Yes, fue? teacher. Uh, yeah. When you use this one, it's, uh -huh. more, it's because you predicted no, no, that action not pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. En esta okay. teoría que estaba aquí, Norma, lo que le dicen es mejor diga, I don't think it will rain, o que, a que diga, it won't rain. Uh -huh. All right. porque, aquí le, uh -huh. porque ahí lo que le están enseñando, acuérdense que por eso al principio decíamos, está aquí, que eh, a veces o seguido, no siempre, se pueden usar estas palabras que preceden el will, ¿verdad? I think it will, perhaps, no sé qué, tomorrow y todas esas, o expect or hope. Entonces usted puede cambiar mejor la palabra esa negativo a usar el won't. Pero no quiere decir que el uso del want sea incorrecto. Usted dice, usted se asoma a la ventana y dice, it won't rain tonight. Y en plena clase cae el chaparrón. All right, pero usted cuando vio, que creyó que no. All right, pero está, está bien, Norma. Igual, usted puede decir will o won't. Ok. Uh -huh. Igual, mañana, no se asusten, mañana hacemos la práctica de todo esto. Ahorita los voy a dejar con la presentación en el grupo para que después el mer no me regañe en público. All right, <laughs> para que no se me enojen. Ya es el mes. Hey, Hello. Está bien, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Right, guys. okay. Very good. Uh, okay. So I'll stop right sí. now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo sé que los dejé así como calladitos. Sentí que se cayeron así como y los grillitos, ¿verdad? Pero mañana no se preocupen. What happened? Vamos a ver. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah, sometimes that happens. So guys, thank you so much for being in class. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll send the presentation right away. Okay, so be ready for it tomorrow. And tomorrow is like yep. one class before the last. And then Thursday, yep. we finish. Free advanced. Yep. All right, yes. guys. Very good. All right. So guys, have a great night. Be careful, keep safe, wash your hands, and don't go out if you don't have to. All right? Okay. I'll see you guys right, tomorrow, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, guys.